What's going on, Outriders? We're taking a look at Rarag's Gaze, the legendary rifle from the Outriders beta. If you guys enjoy Outriders content, I recommend you to hit that subscribe button, tick that notification bell, and if you can, it helps me out tremendously. Leave a like on the video, because I believe this was the world's first legendary drop, and it's, it's kind of an RNG thing, but I'll take it anyways. And this dropped at item level 6. It happened to fall for me in World Tier 4, just off of a captain, which is kind of a side boss and a mini side quest, if you will. Uh, it's coming in with 245 power, crit damage 11%, status power 15%, long range damage at 7%. You can see the mods underneath it. We got a tier 3 weakness trap. Shots cause explosions, dealing 30 damage and inflicting weakness on enemies within 5 meter radius of the target. Cooldown of 3 seconds. I got burning bullets on it as well, where shots inflict burn on enemies. That's got a cooldown of 8 seconds. See a bunch of stats on the right size. Ignore the clip size unless you like to get triggered. Yep, can and see that now. It's a mag, everybody. But you can see it also says it's a standard variant. Now, there are different variants throughout the gun. Um, you're going to notice that this is going to be something you see because the customization in this game is just endless. There's so much to do. There, it's just such a robust system. So the mods, you know, there's over 350 mods in the game on launch on April 1st, uh, ranging from armor to weapon mods. And as you see the ones that I have, these may not be the same mods that we see on another Rarog's Gaze in the future when the next one drops. They are extractable when you break them down. You could see a lot of really cool things coming out of this build, and you can synergize this with your skill tree and the teammates that you play with. So there is such a promising future for customization and just scaling difficulties with your friends. And I think this is a great thing, but you could see the stats on the bottom right side. Go through those if you would like. But uh, throughout the variants, this is a single fire. There could be another variant down the line or possibly even upgrades to this gun that you could purchase when the full game comes out with resources and crafting materials that can mold, uh, modify the gun and possibly convert it into like a bolt action so it hits harder. Or you can convert, convert it into like a fully auto or something. So I'm very interested to see exactly how in-depth this customization gets with full launch, but for now, we can honestly only speculate on how some of these are going to change and from what we've seen in some of the videos. But you're seeing some gameplay in the background. This thing was absolutely amazing. I can't tell you much more beyond that it just looks really cool. But when I started using this, it felt amazing. Like, I felt so much more powerful when using this thing, which is great because in a lot of looter shooters, a lot of RPGs, legendaries don't always feel legendary, you know? But I felt untouchable in World Tier 5 when I put this thing on. I'm just one-shotting things. I'm feeling super confident. And I love this because that's not always something you see. Sometimes they just fit in with some of the more common weapons. And this one, it felt special. It felt unique. And it looks really freaking cool. So I'm glad I could share this video with you guys. I've got some more things coming up. And if any more legendaries happen to drop in the demo, I'll cover those videos as well. So thank you guys for your time. Thanks for clicking on this video. Come by a live stream sometime and chill with us. Grind out those world tiers and see what kind of loot you can have. We're only a month away from full launch. We're going to decimate your sub box. See you then.